Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will be learning about 100% stacked chart. The one that you see right now is 100% stacked bar and the next one is 100% stacked column. They are primarily used to indicate sales mix in terms of percentage. Let's see an example. Before me is a chart which mentions the various subcategory of products that we sell. Now, in the phones category, we see the sales is well distributed amongst the four regions that is central, east, south and west. The total sales being 105,000 in a given year of 2018. Now, when you go through all the years starting from 2015, you will see patterns which you could not see earlier. For example, in the machines category, I realize that the south region has taken the lead in terms of sales. Now this pattern may not repeat in 2016 or 17. As an additional layer of information, I have included a clustered bar chart on the right hand side so that these two layer of information talks about two things at the same time. Now question is how do we make it? So let's begin our exercise. I go to the practice sheet. Next, I click on the 100% stacked bar chart. Once I place it vertically and adjust the height, let me type in category. I'll bring in subcategory and then I will also look for sales as one of the fields. I will need that to drag and drop in the chart area. Next, I will look for region. Once I drag and drop the region, you will see the breakup in terms of sales of these subcategory of products across four different regions. Now what I do is I press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. This allows me to quickly make a copy. Now why would I need that? I would need that to convert this into a stacked bar chart. And then I take away the region breakup. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the settings and the height to make them look side by side. In either of the cases, you may want to activate the data labels and to do so, you will have to go to the format, look for data labels and activate this. As you deep dive, you get more settings on how do you wish to show these percentages. So for example, I may give the decimal places as zero and then press enter. This ensures I do not have any decimal places shown in the data labels. Now you may want to do the same thing in the right hand side chart by going to the format, activate the data labels and then decide on the display unit so that you can see all the value at the same time. Next, I will look for the Y axis value and let's see what happens if I disable that. Wow, noticed? So I'm removing the extra information which was not needed. So friends, applying the same technique, you can also build a combination of 100% stacked column chart that you can see at the bottom side of the window, preceded by a clustered column chart to tell you the absolute value of the sales. So that was a quick video on how to use 100% stacked bar and 100% stacked column chart.